another edition of Mobile Mac Service uh, dot com YouTube channel. Today we're going to be working on the scripting and we're going to show you how to put a variable into your script for user input. So the first thing we want to do is we want to open up Automator. In Automator I always put an S for confirmation just to start things out so people know that you're into uh, you're in a program. Okay, that's the first thing we do. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to ask for text. We're going to pop that in here. Um, turn the server. You wish to test. For example, um, yahoo.com. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to scroll down to run shell script. And here we're going to do things a little bit different. We're going to first we're going to put our ping in dash c 10. And this time because it's a variable, we're going to do dollar sign 1. We also want to do a trace route to the same website. So we're going to do dollar sign one there. Now, as input, we need that to be set to as argument. And we also want to require an answer there. And then we're going to put everything into a nice text document. Okay, so let's go ahead and run. Let's see what happens. It's asking me to input a website, so let's go ahead and put mobilemacservice.com and enter. And now it's running through its tests. And here are all our results. So it pinged Mobile Mac Service 10 times, and then it ran a trace route showing us exactly how it got to the website. And that's how you put a variable into a script using Automator. Um, if you do not use Automator, you have to actually define a variable. And that we'll, we'll be covering in a new lesson coming up later this week. I hope this tip was helpful. Thank you very much for watching. And if, for more tips and tricks, please subscribe to our channel. Have a good day. Bye-bye.